What is up? Let's continue the Kingwood Oracle lesson. In order for you guys to get into the practical state as early as possible, I'm going to skip some of the esoteric theory and leave them behind. For those who really wanted to learn the theory in order to maximize the tools, please contact us for a paid course. I'll make focus straight away to the application. From now, you might need to memorize some important terms of it. Not to worry too much about memorizing, it may sound difficult especially when we're dealing with oriental skills in the English language. With this free lesson, all you need to do is just rehearse 5 minutes every day and you will for sure 100% remember anything I'm showing you here. If you want to learn something powerful, you have to give and take. Just in case you forget or don't understand how powerful the King One Oracle is, take a look at this video. I will also make an easy readable cheat sheet at the end of this video series so once you have cast the hexagram, just follow the sheet and you will get the answer. Now, let's go to the subject of learning the King Word Oracle system. There is some basic symbol and terms you need to go through it. Let's start with learning about the process of hexagram. How does a hexagram come from? In the I Ching Abandoned Judgment, Si Zhi, the universe formed from the original state of non-being, unidentified to supreme ultimate, which is Tai Chi. From Tai Chi, it has yin and yang combination. It can be said that it is a process of separation of yin and yang, which means Tai Chi splits into two polarities, Liang Yi. Yang draw as a straight line or undivided line. Line are also called Yao in Mandarin. Yin draw as a divided line which look like a dash line. So from here, it means when the supreme ultimate is in a movement, it generates yang. So yang means energy is moving. Therefore, yang is classified as something energetic. In another side, when the movement reach to the ultimate limit, it needs to rest. Therefore, rest generates yin. That is the reason yin represents all the static symbols. So, the movement and the rest action keep on continuously and alternately. And the division into yin and yang establish the two bigrams. When we look at the Tai Chi diagram, we know that this is the very famous yin-yang fish, which shown all pervading synergy of yin and yang. We can see that there is a white dot inside the black fish and a black dot inside the white fish. This meaning in every yang, there is always axis with a little bit of yin and there is always some yang in every yin. Therefore, it generates into four image, which is si xiang, which the yin itself generate another yin and yang and yang itself generate another yin and yang too. This is called greater yang, lao yang. As we can see, it has two yang line. This is lesser yin, sao yin, as a little bit of yin start to growing up, this is lesser yang. As a little bit of yang start to grow, this is called greater yin, lao yin, as it is shown to in lines here. This is the process generate four bigrams. With this four bigram, as known as four image, si xiang, it generates the eight trigram, ba gua. Again, we pull out each bigram and add yin and yang on top of it respectively. This is now a complete 8 trigram, as known as Pagua. From Pagua, we can start to derive all the good and bad in a very rough from the universe. This is how Feng Shui started from this Pagua as well. Therefore, Pagua has a basic for inauspicious or auspicious matter. This Pagua has a primordial number which means the order of the trigram, starting number 1 from the left, then ascendant to number 8. You will need to memorize this primordial number. It is because the number are widely used when you make a divination. This is the way when we turn anything surrounding us into number. For instance, Qian represents father. So when you need to make a divination, at that moment you see a father, then you could straight away use number one. This is the method of plum blossom. In King Wen, when the quarant asks you a question, simply ask them to give you a number and you could turn this number into a trigram. I've talked about this in the previous video. Have a look about it. Beside this primordial number, you need just to understand how does a trigram being formed will be more than enough. So now, let me go through one time with the trigram name. This is the first trigram, Qian. Second is Tui. And then Li. 
正、训、砍、跟、坤。There is no shortcut in memorizing the name of this program, but not to worry too much. This doesn't really affect how do you do the reading and the progress of learning King words. You can snap a picture and put it on your phone. You will memorize it eventually. If you want some imagination in order to memorize them, take Chen as heaven or the sky, Dui as the lake. Li as the fire, Sun as the thunder, Xun as the wind, Kan as the water, Gen as the mountain, and Kun as the earth. Before we end this, there is an extension from the eight trigram. When we clone another eight trigram or Bagua. And put it on top of the each trigram. It will have a total of 64 groups, which is the 64 hexagram. 六十四卦 It definitely have another 64 names for each of the hexagram, but we don't need to use it at all in King Word Oracle system. This lesson just focus on how primordial number come from. If there is something you don't understand, comment down below and I will try to answer your question. Subscribe my channel, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.